methane release from Nord Stream pipelines. Fossil fuels, rice fields, landfills, burping cows. What is the common link between all these separate things? Well, they are all important sources of methane. Methane or CH4 you may have last heard of this gas in chemistry class. But we need to talk about it again because it's a powerful greenhouse gas. It forms only 0.00017% of the atmosphere. But it's crucial in keeping the earth warm and habitable. Excess methane is a problem though it's one of the most dangerous causes of global warming in the first 20 years. After it's released, methane is 86 times more powerful than carbon dioxide in trapping heat. In fact, it has been responsible for 40% of global warming since the Industrial Revolution. According to a new study, a significant portion of the methane gas released from the ruptured Nord Steam pipeline in the Baltic Sea last September never reached the atmosphere. Researchers from the University of Gothenburg have discovered that a significant portion of methane gas released from the ruptured Nord Stream pipelines in the Baltic Sea last September never reached the atmosphere. Instead, between 10,000 to 50,000 tons of methane dissolved into the surrounding seawater. Explosions along the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines in late September 2022 resulted in one of the largest unintentional methane release ever recorded. While some methane formed visible plumes on the water surface, a substantial amount dissolved at various depths in Baltic Sea. Nord Stream 1 is a 1224-kilometer underwater gas pipeline running from Vyborg in northwest Russia to Lumben in northeast Germany via the Baltic Sea. It is primarily owned by the Russian energy giant Gazprom and is the main network for gas delivery to Germany. The 1200-kilometer Nord Stream 2 pipeline was planned to run from Ostluga in Russia to Griffswald in Germany through the Baltic Sea with a capacity to carry 55 billion cubic meters of gas per year.